divorce worthy? Myself 25, M, and wife 25, F, have been together for five and a half years and married for four. We met at college through a mutual friend and began talking casually, after a few months we started to date. Things were going great, we connected with each other physically and mentally to a degree I never thought that I could have with someone. We both had different friend groups at the time but we spent most days with one another studying, hanging out, doing the hanky-panky and all the other exciting things that come with dating. She has this ex that she dated about six months before we became official and although they no longer kept in touch she still had a close relationship with his identical twin brother and older sister. She would talk with the twin brother fairly often via text and phone calls. I even met him during a FaceTime call and he seemed like a good guy. These communications went on for a while when one day she was on Instagram and I asked to see a picture of her ex and the twin brother side by side. She went to the profile page of the twin brother without hesitation and tried finding a picture of them together. For some reason they didn't have any together and I got this gut feeling that I had been getting bamboozled. Turns out there was never an identical twin brother and it was the ex all along. I have never been one to check phones or care about someone's past so I had never checked myself or even asked the name of her ex. I felt betrayed and confused. She assured me that nothing sexual, sexy was happening between them but that she cared for him still and they simply talk as friends. She cried and begged for me to stay and assured me she would no longer speak with him at all and block him on everything. I decided to forgive her and move on from this because her reaction seemed genuine and I wanted to trust her as our relationship despite this, was incredible. After 8 more months of dating we decided that things were going so well now that we would look to get married. I hadn't planned on getting married until much later in life but she checked all the boxes that I was looking for in a future spouse so I thought why wait. Soon after I proposed to her and she accepted. A few months later I get a text from a friend, acquaintance at college telling me that he needed to speak with me. He started off by saying that he's wanted to tell me something for a while but didn't know how to bring it up. Turns out my fiancé at the time had slept with some guy she told me was a friend the second week of us becoming BF and GF while I was on a vacation. When I confronted her about this she claimed it didn't happen and that she had no idea what I was talking about. After prying her for information she continued to lie until I told her I spoke with a gentleman and I know everything that happened, which I did call him and we spoke for about 30 minutes. Also this was a completely different guy than mentioned before. She broke down in tears and began apologizing for what she had done. At the time our wedding was coming up fast and although I was pissed I still loved her and I couldn't think of cancelled the wedding. The entire wedding was paid for from her father and all our family had taken time off booked flights and hotels, you name it. We ended up moving forward with the wedding and getting married. It was a phenomenal wedding and an amazing first year of marriage. For the most part, one forgot about what had happened prior and decided to forgive her for anything in the past. I figured people oftentimes have a hard time transitioning into a new relationship and committing fully to one person. All good things must come to an end because during our second year of marriage I had come back from my grandfather's funeral out of state which I attended alone because she couldn't get work off. I had gotten home from the airport and walked in the door when I see my wife cooking dinner for us. She left her phone next to a table we keep by our front door and as I went to place my keys on the table I noticed a text pop up from the ex with the fake twin brother. I don't remember what it said but there was no messages other than that one and it was not an opening line leading me to believe they had been speaking while I was away. I showed her immediately and she went on to tell me some story about how her work was giving bonuses if they could recruit a qualified individual into any territory within the country. We were struggling financially at the time and she claimed it would be a good way to make extra money if he ended up joining her company in the other state. I was flabbergasted that she would talk with him again after everything and that she delete all communication that had been taking place between them while I was gone. We had an extremely lengthy conversation about the whole situation and she told me they hardly spoke, and that he ended up not even being interested in a new job. Apparently the text I had seen was just letting her know that. I wanted to believe her but I had a bad feeling about the whole thing. So that night after she fell asleep I went into another room with her phone and laptop and starting going though her call history through the cell carrier she was with, 
and attempting to recover anything that may have been deleted. I found multiple calls that went for two to three hours and texts that had been deleted. Unfortunately it didn't show what the texts were or any details that would have been important but I did find out they had actually talked a lot. This put a large amount of strain on our marriage for a couple months and she still refused to admit that it had anything to do with anything personal and she was trying her best to help us financially and so all conversation was around that. I eventually was tired of trying to get answered and this has stuck with me till this day because I was sure more had happened. Fast forward to two months ago some of these lies have eaten me alive and I have had countless nights lying awake wondering what might have happened. For the first time in about two years I decided to snoop through her phone and see if there was anything on it. I didn't find anything and even worse my wife woke up while I was looking. She wasn't defensive or anything and simply asked if I wanted to talk as she knows this is not normal for me to do. We have an open policy with our electronics, including sharing our locations, passwords and everything else and so she will look on my phone every once in a while when she might feel insecure or has a bad dream that I cheated etc. I told her I would love to talk and that some things have been troubling me. I have brought up this same subject in the past because I've never been able to get over it and I feel as though more had taken place. It never led to anything because she kept the same stance as the day I confronted her about this. I let her know I needed to know the truth and that I still don't believe her about them only speaking professionally. She wanted to know that I wouldn't leave her if he she told me the truth and I said okay. She said the truth is that they initially started speaking because of the potential extra bonus from work and from there they started to catch up and see how each other's lives had been going. They called multiple times when I was away that week and had consistent communication over text. When I had found the initial text that day when I got home from the funeral she kept in contact with him for another two or so weeks. She still says that nothing sexual happened over the phone and no pictures were exchanged and they weren't flirting, simply catching up. Apparently what ended them talking is she started feeling guilty for them speaking after he told her if she wanted to leave me to be with him she could. She let him know that this was going to too far and that they should no longer speak again. I asked her if she loved him and she said as a friend she still does and she cares for him still but the most she will do now is check on his social media every few months. This is incredibly difficult because despite the problems with this ex and other guy she slept with our life is pretty damn good at the moment. We now both have great paying careers, no kids, travel, still have sex four to five time a weeks and have some wonderful friends. My gut is telling me that it's time to move on because I don't think I will ever fully be able to trust her again yet there has been nothing I've seen in the past two years to tell me she's cheated since and it seems unfair to break off our marriage now. My question to y'all is would divorce be justifiable even though this was a few years ago and nothing happened physically? We are damn happy besides this but these past weeks it's been killing me to think that something like this could happen again in the future. Even worse would be if it happened down the line when we had kids. Anyway, thanks for reading and I look forward to hearing any advice that y'all have. Dear Loud this was sad to read. So let me get this straight, she cheated on you literally right at the beginning of your relationship and then she lied to you for no reason claiming that her ex was her ex's identical, twin brother and you still married her? You already have all the justification to divorce her but in my opinion you shouldn't have married her and if you think that being a cheater and a manipulative liar is okay because she checks all the other boxes that you're never going to learn self-love and you're always going to fall in her trap. The fact that you think and asked if you divorced her would be after everything means that you're probably leaning towards staying with her but that you know that it won't be good. Do you want to do this for the rest of your life? Do you want to teach your children that it's okay to deal with these things because they're comfortable and don't want to be alone? Or are you going to want to teach them that they can always do better if someone is treating them wrong? You're literally only in your mid-twenties you have decades to move on just leave before you spend even more time dealing with this. My lord. There are so many red flags I couldn't count them all and even before the wedding. My good sir, trust is the foundation of any relationship and your wife has completely ruined it before you even became married. 
The fact that you stayed with her so long shows how much you care and are devoted to your family but geez, everything has a limit and she went way beyond that. My good sir, love yourself, you deserve better. She cannot be trusted ever. Please move on, she seems like a professional liar. Always trust your gut. It can't lead you wrong. I'm sorry but it will just keep happening and getting worse. She's still lying to you. Please wake up and move on. Best of luck to you. A fake twin brother conjured up to immediately lie to you and continue contacting her ex, without giving you the benefit of the doubt that you'd be okay with this. Betraying you with another man in a physical affair, getting back in contact with the ex with the lies just piling up, until she admits that their chats with no sexual overtones led the ex to ask her to leave you. A man she is still emotionally attached to. And this is the stuff you know about. Her version of it at least. You chose this life and I'm at a loss why you're questioning it now. However, do not bring children into this life. You should not inflict this unhealthy and untrustworthy existence on anyone else, much less those that need love and trust to thrive. Your WW has been cheating on you from the very start, in one form or another, and won't stop because you've shown her there are no consequences for her constant betrayal. She doesn't need to take ownership of her bad choices, so her behavior will escalate until she either one leaves you or two gets pregnant by her fake twin XBF or some other dude, but passes the kids off as yours. Sorry if I went off on a tangent, but everyone who follows this sub knows exactly what's awaiting you if you continue with your farce of a marriage. And, I hate to say it, but you need to get a full STD panel stat. Your WW is a serial cheater who isn't capable of being in a stable, mature relationship, much less being married. She has repeatedly shown that she can't be trusted and will continually betray you. She isn't good for you. She isn't your person. Listen to what your gut is telling you and divorce her or you'll be miserable. You deserve better. Why are you still with her? How many fucking times does she have to betray you before you grow your spine and leave this woman? Good God, have some self-respect. Because she certainly has zero respect for you.